notice anything different? This is not an optical illusion. <laughs> it actually switched spots. All right, so hello. And if you're new, I'm Sadie, this is P, and she's my girlfriend, and we've been together for over five years. Yes, and today we changed spots. For the first time in five years. <laughs> okay, let's do the thing. So we're gonna pick okay. a topic, and we're gonna talk about that topic. That's it. All right. There's only two left. Wow. Oh, nice creativity. I was hoping for this one. This is like a really large topic. I'm a bit lost. Okay, right now. I'll, I'll My get head. it going at okay. the gate. I wrote creativity down because we're both creative people and you know, it's kind of hard because at least for me, because I'm also dealing with a lot of depression and it seems that when you're depressed, your creativity kind of dies. At least for me, this is how it goes. Mm. Like whenever I go into like a really depressive period. By the way, if anybody's yelling in the background, everything is fine. It's my brother playing D and D with his online friends. And yeah, so when I'm depressed, I can't. I feel like all my creativity goes away. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm not. I don't feel inspired. I don't feel like I can do anything because I feel like a worthless piece of crap. So what is creativity then? Is it like an expression of the soul? I think so. Uh, it is. It must be. So what fuels your creativity? What fuels my creativity? Yeah, what hmm. gets you going? What gets your juices flowing? I don't know, actually. Um, I don't have something in particular. Oh, yes. I remember that when we were on Vancouver Island mm -hmm. and uh, being in that space in nature, that really gets my juice going. I come up with a ton, you know, a lot of ideas and um, I want to be out there, I want to film, I want to, you know, do stuff and so express nature? myself. Yeah, nature, definitely. And what it, about the city? I don't know, like lately it's been hard. My body is not very comfortable in the city, so everything becomes uncomfortable, so I kind of become a bit lazy. I think there is an element of depression mm -hmm. in, that goes into creativity. If you're depressed, definitely it's difficult to express yourself. It's almost like you lose yourself and uh, you don't understand who you are anymore and you kind of like judge yourself a lot yeah. uh, because you can't express yourself, you start judging and you're sucking in Even this. Even saying I'm that. lazy is like very self-judgmental. Exactly. I don't think it's laziness to be honest. It's just something that's stopping your energy from flowing. It's an yeah. extension of your energy and whether you want to call that like your soul, your chi, your whatever, you know, we yeah. all have like a unique kind of signature energy. Yeah. And it manifests itself in this dimension, like yeah. in this physical plane, I should say, as creativity because yeah. That's what separates us from the animals, right? They're not, right. they don't have that. But humans do. We yeah. create ideas out well, of nothing. Actually, I of. saw an elephant oh, painting. Yeah. That's right. I shouldn't say that. Animals can be creative too. But like that's what makes us stand out, is yeah. our ability to come up with you know, concepts that didn't exist before. Or like create something original. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so... Mm -hmm. You're not adding to the conversation much. <laughs> this is this not your topic? I, I don't know. There's so much to say and at the same time, I don't know. Say it's, something. It's, it's uh, very broad. But yeah, I agree. I just thinking about those writers, you know, the writer's block, so-called, you know, they can't write, they can they get stuck basically and mm -hmm. uh, they usually uh, go on a retreat. That's when they, everything quiets down. It's almost like a, Nature helps you with quieting down your mind mm. because there is a chatter going on and that makes the energy flow better and that's why I think there is uh, more creativity going on. But I find that, you know, you can express yourself artistically even through cooking, for instance. Mm -hmm. So being creative in the kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, it's another aspect of this whole creativity thing, right? Yeah. And uh, I noticed that that actually helps me when I feel like that, when I feel down. For some reason, it grounds me a lot because when I do filmmaking, filmmaking is more out there, is more abstract, mm -hmm. and uh, it, I deal with images in my mind, so it's something that I can't really grasp. But with cooking, I find that I'm touching things. So just by touching things, it grounds you, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it makes you feel more in, 
your body. It's very satisfying yeah. for me. Yeah. When we're children, we're always create, creating stuff. Like we're always coming up with things, playing and games. It's all like about creativity. Like yeah. you, you come up with characters, you come up with situations, adventures. Yeah. And they, they're not judging themselves. Mm -hmm. Like when we're children, we're not judging ourselves. But I find that now that I'm an adult, it's almost like I need a reason to be creative. Like it needs to have a purpose for me to create something. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just wasting time, mm. which is a really adult concept because mm -hmm. you didn't have this concept as children. All, right. we, all we had was, is it fun? Like, exactly. is it bringing me joy in this moment to do this? Yeah. And we didn't have this like, oh, what if it doesn't come out looking great? What if I'm wasting materials? What if I'm wasting somebody's time? Like, <laughs> Yeah, it's true. You know? Yeah, there is more uh, purity, you know, when you are a child, you're more pure, so you don't think much. Everything goes through you without going first through your mind, you know? Yeah. And um, you, you don't put too much thought into it, you just do it. So I feel like uh, creativity doesn't reside in the mind. Definitely, we lose that as we grow into adulthood, and uh, it's too bad. That's where you went. That's <laughs> what else can I say? Uh, it's That's true. too bad. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> no, I mean I think we should try to go back there. Like it's it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Absolutely. In fact, many times you know I think about the way I was feeling when I was young, and I do want to go back there. And good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's almost like, uh, you know, to find your way back home, in a way. What do you mean How many times back? did I say way? Going back home, like... <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, home is not the place you find yourself when you are an adult. Like, the mind space. Hmm. Uh, that's not home. I feel like it's more home when things are felt and not thought. Hmm. And uh, it feels homey. It feels uh, forgiving. It feels warm, like it, it feels just in the moment and spontaneous and it's yeah. just, uh, it feels good. You feel good when you get home, right? Yeah. And this is the same thing, you know, it's the same thing. I feel when I was uh, younger, I felt more like that feeling, that homey feeling yeah. whenever I was... Uh, it's very connected to like emotional, being emotional. Yeah. Also children, like their brains aren't developed enough to function logically, like they can't actually logically form themselves into mm -hmm. people they're more abstract so they're more feeling beings instead yeah. of thinking beings. i feel like um, we are taught to use our brains and to give our brains the leading role mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. we grow up i feel like we should relearn the whole the entire process you know and go back to when we were children and use our brains you know for just when we need them yeah for tasks, you know, to execute tasks and not to give the brand the right to decide whether I'm good or bad mm -hmm. <laughs> at doing something. You know, the creativity, I feel like, doesn't come from the brain. In fact, whenever you talk to artists, they're like, no, it feels like it's coming from somewhere else. I'm just putting it down on paper, or like I'm putting it into words. Yeah. It's not coming from the brain. It's like you're not coming up with it, but it's coming through you. Yeah. Right. And if we're so trained to use our brains to come up with the ideas, I think that's when you have that artist block because mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be the one coming up. It comes to you, you know? Right. That's the reason why many people, in order to just try to leave the space, the mind space and go into their heart and they have a block and doing that they are basically helped with some uh, drugs like uh, magic mushrooms for instance they it can really liberate your mind it makes you really go into your heart and be more spontaneous mm -hmm. so that's why many artists actually when they say relaxing you know it's really getting out you know your mind and uh, relaxing and uh, just let it go through you without stopping because many times we create those barriers you know yeah in fact even with youtube like i feel like making videos is kind of expressing creativity in a way but we stop ourselves so often that's why i came up with this concept of writing down these topic ideas because what's been happening with us is i will come up with a topic and i'll tell her and she's like nah it's too repetitive or like Nah, I don't feel like talking about it. Or like, nah, nobody's gonna watch that. It's gonna be so boring. And same with me. End, I was telling her, let's talk about this. 
Yeah, but in the end, we happen. ended up not making any videos and it was getting really, really difficult to come up with, okay, so what do we do? What do we do? It has to be good. It has to be liked. And I was, I had it at some point. I had it and I'm like, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to write down these freaking topic ideas, put them in this cup and we have to pick one and do whatever we pick. It's almost yeah. like taking the power away from us and like, you know, whatever God picks yeah. for us. Like, <laughs> we got to talk about it. And I think it's been going okay so far. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's more fun to just release that control and yeah. release those expectations. Yeah. Goes back to expectations again. So, lately, I've been doing some painting again. That's my new creative thing. And also, yeah. I've been doing sewing. Nothing artsy, just like <laughs> sewing my pajama pants that had, you know, the elastic too tight and I took it out and replaced it. You know, even that's creativity, okay? We don't have to, like, expect masterpieces of art and writing and poetry. It's yeah. just like, you, you became know. creative with your pyjama. Yeah, I was sewing my pyjama pants and that's my creativity for that day, it's fine. It's just doing something that wasn't there before. That's what creativity is. Mm -hmm. That's my retarded definition of creativity. <laughs> yeah, why not? You're yeah. creating something. Mm -hmm. You're totally creating something new. That's our little spiel on creativity. Yes. I hope you enjoyed and let us know your thoughts on the topic in the comments because we always like to write what write. We always read. like to read what you have to write. Can you say that? We always like to read what you like to write. Oh my god. <laughs> you always like to read what you're gonna write. You always like to read. No, we always like to We always like to read what you write. What you have to write. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's okay. So thank you for watching and see you next time. You should say and see us next time because we don't see you. <laughs>